Oh, <laughs> you see that? It's holding. Today we're going to talk about mini tabletop tripods, tripods for photographers, tripods for content creators, tripods for vloggers. All right, so we've got the, the Ulanzi MT46, we've got the Siriu 3T35K, we've got the Leo Photo MT03, which is the best, we've got the Manfrotto Pixie, and we've got the PGY Tech and Joby Gorilla Pod 3K Pro. All right, so there are too many to test in this scenario. I have to get rid of some and process of elimination. They all have to stand on a surface and sometimes that surface is crooked and slanted. Some of them will fall off. Oh, and some won't. Oh, there you go, and there you go. So those ones that remain, I will review. So you might be thinking that's a bit unfair because the Gorilla Pod is actually a little bit taller well, you're kind of right, and guess what? The Leo photo can grow as well. Okay, it's about as tall as the Gorilla Pod now. Well, you might be thinking it's not fair because these two guys are really short and they can't grow taller like an undersized Asian kid. But, you know, we'll keep this one around, the PGY Tech, just because it can do more stuff than the Pixie. The Pixie is just on flat surfaces. This thing can go on many surfaces. I mean the PGY Tech, it can grow when you're using it in vlogging mode like this. And then you open up the silly thing and move the head over here. And then you have this vlogging mode. So what? Uh, the MT-03, it's already longer. And the Gorilla Pod, it's already longer. And the MT-03 looks shorter because it doesn't have a head on, but they're virtually all the same size when you hold them out like this. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just find a spot on the tree because, you know, vloggers, they do that so often. And uh, there we go. So, can I hold a, a camera? There you go. This is a full frame old vintage camera. So the PGY Tech was easily the first one to do it. Here's the Gorilla Pod. Not that, that should be sufficient right there. Okay, holds tight. So you might be thinking, how the heck is this Leo photo even gonna hang on a tree? Well, this bendy hooky leg, you create your own hook just like the, uh, the PGY tech, right? So you'll see in a second, I'll show a different angle. There it is on the tree, hooked with the camera. As I'm framing that uh, walkway, I'll be riding a bike through it. And, you know, like I say, you can wrap your, your wrist wrap around it and then hold it back. And it will hold because, you know, this is a $2,000 rig. I mean, it seems risky, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> you see that? It's holding because the way the legs work, this is going to, it's going, it's not gonna move, this joint is tight. And there you go. Were these legs really meant to be used that way? Well, legs can be used in lots of ways, right? So this thing, there's more pressure as you open it and it's, it's I can't really show it, but it's, it gets, it's getting stiffer as it straightens. Anyhow, because it's stiff now, um, it doesn't just fly all over the place. So hooking it onto something, as, as long as you're, you're doing it like at, at an angle, that just means that there's no lateral motion or no lateral pressure. It's going to work out just fine. Next up, we're just gonna do some oddball posts because you're at a pier and you know, piers have these odd posts in the middle of nowhere where, okay, the gorilla pod works out just fine. Granted, you probably should keep your hand on it so it doesn't fly off. The PGY Tech. You can make it work, but um, you might not get the angle that you want. But yeah, this works too. It's just kind of low. And the Leo Photo. Uh, you could probably just put it in like this PGY Tech, just smash it in otherwise um you should be able to angle it somehow because this thing is like the king of angles 
Ah, there you go. It's got most of the pressures right here. So yeah, it holds up just fine. Unfortunately, I don't have a chain link fence, but I have some fencing that can probably mimic it. All right, here is the PG Y-Tech and it should be quite easy work because of the hook. Okay, no problems at all. The Gorilla Pod, you can do the same. It's just that this thing is a little bit more tricky and the way I have to do it was, well, if, if the fence is really small, this thing it won't even work. But these hinges are pretty strong, so you get it on the right hinge. There you go. Nice and strong. And because the legs are further apart, there's less stress on the hinge. Okay. And here's the Leo photo. You might be thinking, uh, am I gonna hook it somehow? Yes, I am. I'm gonna use the hook. And this one actually cheats too. This one can cheat the system. Okay. Let's just say I can't even get my hand over, but you can definitely cheat the system right here. You see that? You wouldn't be able to yank it out. I mean, because it's, it's trapped. I trapped it by wedging it. And these legs down here, they ensure that it doesn't move side to side. So this thing is trapped. So at this point, you might be thinking that they're all even. Well, not quite. There's still one more. And only the Leo photo, whoops, can fit into this no parking sign because of these holes. They're small. However, the Leo photo has really small legs. All right. So because you see that it's in there already, and I'm just going to twist it over here. And down here, it's stuck to another leg. And with this spare leg, I'm just going to hold it right there so it doesn't move side to side. Check that out. You might think this is a bit dangerous, but what's going on here is that this leg you see my leg is, it, it, you see how beat up this thing is? My Leo photo has been used a lot and it's jacked up. This is a friction type of hold because most of the leverage is going downwards, but because the item, you know, it naturally it's metal, it, it can't flex this way. So it just wedges itself in. I mean, I can put a lot of pressure on here but you know, I don't want to break this poor pole. Bruh. And because of the three points, it definitely stays in place. Yeah, granted, you know, you're gonna scratch up your tripod, which I've done plenty. You see that? Even this one scratched it up. But usually the holes aren't this small, they're larger. Here's another way you could put it on. You could just put it on like this. And once you're in the hole, I mean, it's, it's that friction that's gonna keep you locked in, okay? Even if I pull these legs out, okay? Even without the legs out, because of this friction that's created, okay? It's not going anywhere. And with more downward pressure, there's more friction. That's just what the one leg, the other legs, you know, you could just use them to stabilize the side to side movements because you don't want it to twist on you. Okay. Yeah. And that is what the Joby, that is what the PG Tech cannot do. And these are common everywhere because our city loves to collect parking tickets. And I have used it and it's become so handy because you just don't have to have a tripod around because this thing can get you really high. These poles are everywhere. And if you're feeling a bit unsafe, you can always use a strap to wrap it around itself onto its own leg. And there's one more reason, the size. True pocketability. 
Here it is in its final form. Okay, it weighs around eight and a half ounces or 250 grams. All right, let's do a final overview of all of them, okay? So the cereal is too short and it tips over, okay? The Gorilla Pod, they are clunky to use, hard to bend into place, and they break. I mean, I have an extra one because, well, they break. So it's like every six months I gotta buy another one. All right, the Pixie, these types, they are right, but too short, okay? Gotta get taller. These ones, they're taller and supports a good amount of weight. This is the Ulanzi MT46. Well, it tips over, okay? Because you got weight on this, any type of, even say you put it on a car, the, your car hood is just tilted like this, it's gonna fall over, okay? Whereas uh, the PGY Tech, ultimately, it's too short. I just wanna note that the Leo Photo MT-03 is the only tripod out of the bunch that really leverages stiff legs, okay? The stiffness of the leg is what differentiates this a whole lot. Because, I mean, the Gorilla Pod does use the leg in performing a lot of the tasks in that it wraps around stuff and whatnot. The Leo Photo does as well. It's just that it uses a completely stiff leg instead of you know, wrapping and uh, rubber legs. It's just a completely different approach. So the clear winner is the Leo Photo MT-03. And as you can see, it took a little bit of time to open it up, but it's not that bad. And it has these uh, quarter 20 slots and they fold out like a conventional tripod. So it is the winner among the bunch. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one.